Okay. Um, first things first, people have asked why the empty patch up here. Um, and there's a good reason for that. When I'm running stems on tour, um, I do all of that in logic. And so there are a few songs that I like to be able to pull up just a patch specific to that song and run it in logic. And if I didn't have the empty patch here, then what would happen is when I play my keyboard, I would be triggering both main stage and logic at the same time, which I don't necessarily want to do. So when I'm on a song like that, what I do is I call up this empty patch and then when I play, um, I'm only triggering logic and main stage does nothing. So that's what that's all about. Um, you can feel free to delete that. Okay, having said that, let's talk about um, memory management. Since you only have so much to work with and every resource is precious, um, what I like to do is delete anything I'm not using. So I've just called up Backstage Pass. Let's look at, you got all these folders full of awesome sounds, but say you don't need any of the arpeggiated synth things. So let's go into edit mode. And let's just get rid of a handful of things here. We're just going to play around for a minute. Uh, so let me select that. And of course, anything that you, if you want to select multiple things at once, you probably know this already, but if you hit the shift key and select, you will select all those things. Well, what if you just want to select a few of them? Um, select your first one, hold your command key down, and select just what you want. And now you can delete if you want. Now I want to keep some of these. Uh, actually, no, let's, let's just get crazy. Let's hold shift and select all these and get rid of all of them. Now, you can see that it's getting rid of all these patches, which is going to save you a lot of memory. And it's going to make main stage even more efficient. So now, what you probably want to do is... Um, save as and give it a different name, you know, backstage pass, uh, light or just pianos or something like that. Um, point is you want to always keep a fresh copy of your backstage pass concert file that's not been edited. So you can always get back to it. Okay. So, uh, the big question, how do you create layers and splits and all that sort of thing? Combo patches. Well, as you may recall, if you've done any digging and if you've seen the the walkthrough video, there are four uh, patches. Where did I put them? Here we go. There are four patches that I've started you out with that each are layers. Um, but let's let's start from scratch. Let's say, well, actually, let me go back to that for a second. Let's use this one as an example. Um, when you're in edit mode, you can see that there are couple different layers. Oh, and you know what? Since I deleted all those patches, they're no longer there. It's going to make a fool of me. All right, I can still show you something. So right now, you can see over here, you've got two patches. You've got the piano and the electric piano. Let's say you want to add a pad in there. So just select your first channel strip by clicking on it, and then use your right mouse button, uh, right click on your trackpad, whatever you have, and uh, you want to add a channel strip, but to be specific, let's uh, add an instrument channel strip. So now you've got an empty channel strip here. Well, if you want to add a pad from Backstage Pass, easy enough. All you got to do is go up here on the, the, the Patch Select button and navigate to User Channel Strips. Now your menu is going to look different than mine, but somewhere in your menu, you're going to see the Backstage Pass folder. Now, within there, you've got all these subfolders. You've got, um, you know, in alphabetical order, accents, synths, and so on. So let's choose a pad. Let's go into the pad folder. And let's say uh, uh, just something simple, warm and wide. That's a good one. So. Okay, now. First things first, you can hear that that pad, by default, is an octave off. It's an octave too low. So let's fix that. So over here in the Attributes tab, actually that's not the right one in this case. Here you go, uh, under MIDI input. And you want to make sure that just that channel strip is selected. 
over here in transpose and just bump it up an octave and there you go and now I'm using my my expression pedal which you can hear does not affect the piano which is the way you want it uh, so there you go now um, you'll notice that there's no sends uh, set up on this channel. So you're not going to be able to add reverb or delay or anything like that. If you want to simply add those, say you want to add some of the, uh, the stereo delay. Um, I keep that on bus three to be consistent. So let's go to bus three and add your delay. Now, when you are in, um, combo patches like this, the Touch OSC editor, um, it, one of the downsides of doing it this way is that stuff is only going to work on the main channel strip. So you're going to want to set that stuff up in advance by doing it here in the edit window. So say you want to add some reverb, uh, the main reverb. So bus, main verb, Probably not going to want reverb on, on a pad anyway, but just for an example. Um, so, so you're going to set up your buses. Now you've got, in this case, a three-way layer. And you've done that all from the channel strip preset menu. Here's all the factory stuff. And then, you know, if you want to get to the backstage pass, that's under your user section. So you're going to go user. Uh, and then find your backstage pass folder and then... Uh, go into the subfolder you want and call up the patch you want. So that's one way of doing it. Here's Let me show you a different way. Let's start from scratch. Let's go up here to Blair Masters. Now, say you have... I deleted all my pads down here, but I, I still have a couple left. Let's say you want to take... Uh, let me think here, let me think. Okay, well right now... Just so you know where we're at, we just have a single sound. We've got Blair's piano. So let's say I want to add an electric piano, or, or I want to take this Dreamy Rhodes. Uh, probably not the best example. Let's use, let's just use that one. So we want to create a layer with that patch, that patch, and let's add a pad. Simple warmth. Well, how do we do that? Here's a trick. Hold your command key down, select the first patch you want as your starting point. Hold your command key down, select the second patch, and then the third patch. And then right click, and you'll see this contextual menu. And you're going to just go to New Patch from Selected Patches. And voila. Now you've got all three, and you got that same issue with some things being off an octave, because by default, that's how they were sampled. So, let's figure out which is which. Let's solo up the, there's the, uh, the electric piano. Okay, so those two are right. So it's that pad that's off an octave again. So you're gonna select that, and then over here in the MIDI input tab, Simply transpose. Okay, now we got another problem. You see when I use my expression pedal, it's affecting all three. Say I only want it to affect the pad. So what we have to do is go into the piano and you see where it says expression here? What we want to do is select that just click on it once and hit the minus button oops and it's still doing it uh trying to think what i did to fix that layer editor oh i think i need to undo that yeah undo remove oh i know what you're gonna do you're gonna click filter there we go uh so, you're just going to select expression, go to filter, and ch or um, excuse me, it, by default it's on unchange. You're going to change it to filter. That way you're filtering out expression pedal. 
Now, got to do the same thing if you want this Rhodes patch to stay with you and not be affected by the pedal. So change that to filter. Oops, 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 oops. Got to change that. The source is um, expression. That needs to say expression and then filter. There we go. Now, say you want to pan them apart a little bit. Let's put the piano on the left and the roads on the right. Not something you would really do, but just to give you an example of what your possibilities are. So now you've got two main keyboard sounds and you've got a pad that comes in and out with expression. So that is how you just quickly create a, a layer out of things that are already available here. Um, so again, what you, what you do is you select the patches you want. So let's say we want to start with this one and then hold your command key, pick a second patch, pick a third patch, pick as many as you want, and then right click and new patch from selection. And it's going to create a new patch. Now here's something to be aware of. When we created this one up here, um, you will have added something in the list. All of these by default were set up under your uh, program change. They, they each have program changes assigned to them. Um, Smitty's Piano um, is program change number one. Uh, let's see, where is it? Yeah, right here, program change. Uh, you know, it's going to be off by, by one because of the way the, the MIDI spec works. Uh, two, so let's... As we scroll through here, you can see that this one is program change number two. Blair is number three, four, five, etc. So, oh, I see what it actually. Wow, it had, it did that automatically for me. Sorry, I'm making this up as I go. So you just want to make sure that your program change numbers are assigned the way you want. If you want this new patch to be uh, program number one, then that's how you would do it. But there's a chance, depending on what you do and how you do it, that, that numbers can get duplicated. Um, so you just want to double check, make sure that all your program change numbers are still what you want them to be. Um, let me just see what happens. If I move this now, click on it and move it down here, I wonder if it's going to change. Empty should still be one. Two, yeah, it did. It did change. Okay. I'm learning here as I go uh, along with you. Um, so that's basically it. That's just, just the, how you create um, layers. Now let's say you want to go a little deeper and actually create a split. So select your, your first pass of piano. I'm going to go to your layer editor and you can simply do that here. Um, Piano, you could say uh, low key, high key. I mean, you just drag it to where you want. You could have the roads pick up um, where the piano leaves off. So that's how you would create a split. Um, splits, layers, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then, of course, you want to give it, you know, probably give it a name. Let's just call it temp. And I'm trying to do three things at once. Uh, okay, so there's your new patch that you've created. And it's a, it's a three-way patch in this case. I set you up with the iPad editor for up to five layers total. Now you can go beyond that if you want, but you will lose, um, you know, there's only so much room on the iPad editor, so something's gotta give. Uh, I figured that five should be enough for almost every case, but you can go nuts and do whatever you want. Um, so let's show you a couple other things. The way that the library is set up. Um, again, I showed you over here by simply selecting the channel strip preset uh, and then backstage pass. Everything is in subfolders. So say, you know, we've created this new version of backstage pass that we've deleted all the stuff you're not using. Well, let's say you want to add something back in. Um, first of all, wherever you are in the track list, if you go to add something, it's going to add it in the next available slot. So let's not do it over here. Let's let's go to a different way of doing it. I believe if I hit uh, Command I for import, yes, it'll bring up, um, you know, your patch list this way, where you can kind of look through the finder and load things. Now you see I've got two 
libraries in my, let's go back a little bit and I'll show you where everything is. In your music folder, uh, everything by default is in audio music apps. And then a couple different places. There's channel strip settings um, at where you'll find everything uh, as channel strips. There's also, uh, let's see, where is it? Um, where you're going to find all the main patches for Backstage Pass. It's under Patches, and then Instrument, and then here you'll see I've got two libraries installed. I've got Backstage Pass, obviously, and um, Worship Essentials, which is an awesome library, by the way. Um, so all of the Backstage Pass stuff is in these subfolders. So let's say I want to add a pad. Uh, so you go to Pads. A uh, little trick down there, if you've got the little separator thing visible in the finder, you can double click and it'll show you the full name. I hate that Apple doesn't do that by default, but maybe someday they'll, they'll get hip to it. So let's say we want to add Magic Waters. So we're going to import that and now there it is. So that's how you import patches. Um, you can do it there. You can also do it. Um, yeah, that's just a memory ver uh, excuse me, a menu version of it. Uh, Command I for load patch. You could also load an entire set. Um, let's go down here under pianos. I've never tried this. Let's see what it does. Uh, load. I wonder if it'll let me grab a whole folder, which is another name for a set. No, okay, it's not going to. I'd have to. I know why. It would. It, we'd have to have saved it as a set first, um, and I've. I haven't done that. I've only saved patches. So that's basically how you do it. You can just look through each folder, pull in, you know, and, um, pull in what you want. I do think. Let's see here. I think you can load more than one at a time if you simply hold the command key down again. Select. Uh, no. Okay. Never mind. It's not going to let me do that. It's just going to do one at a time. So, yeah, uh, yeah. There you go. Um, that's basically uh, how to get around. It, and a couple other things along those lines. Um, sorry, I'm I'm making this up as I go. Over here, when you're working in the channel strip area, once again. Um, you're working with channel strips. So all of those will be in the Backstage Pass menu. Um, but that also applies to things like uh, the Atmosphere Generator. Say you want to use a different sound in there. That is done all the way up here at the concert level. It's not done anywhere else. So you'd have to go up and select Backstage Pass. And then over here in Channel Strips, you'll see the Atmosphere Channel Strip. Now, until uh, the first update, which is going to include a whole new set of um, uh, channel strips for Atmosphere. Right now, it just has the one. Um, you don't want to load an entire channel strip. You just want to load a single uh, EXS24 instrument into it. You can do that. So let's go over here and see... And now again, this is going to look different for you than it does for me, depending on what you have installed. But you will see a Backstage Pass folder. So let's look at pads. Um, let's see what Fairy Tale does. Now I will have to trigger this from my iPad. So turn that on. Now, unlike the patch that was there, you'll notice that just every time I triggered a new note, that added, uh, it essentially made a chord. I don't want that, though. So you'll have to, in the meantime, until I get this update done, you're going to want to change the patch to uh, mono mode. And that way, it's only going to trigger one note at a time. And now let's pull the filter down. <laughs> now 
Now you can't see what I'm doing with my iPad, but I'm just changing the filter slider. Now you hear how the attack is a little fast? Let's just go over here and raise the attack a bit. There we go. So, <laughs> there you go. Uh, I've just quickly uh, replaced the atmosphere pad with something else from the library. And you can do that with anything. Um, pick a different patch. Um, again, let's go back into Backstage Pass. Um, you could do that with strings. Let's see what happens when we bring up the large string patch. Now, it's all verbed out, obviously, because it's meant to be an effect. Um, so I probably want to turn the filter on. This is a bad example, but just to get the idea across. Let's raise the attack. Change it to mono. And... I need the attack to be a little bit slower. Still doesn't sound right. Um, not every sound is going to work for this, but um, again, I'm working on a whole new bank of patches for just for atmosphere that, that sound great for this application. But that's how you do that. Um, you would do that at the uh, at the instrument level. Um, so let's see what else. What else? What else? Uh, I'm just trying to show you a couple basic things here. Um, Oh, yeah, okay. Say you want to bring in a patch from a third-party library. Um, same as before. Let's just say I'm down here. Let's say I want to add something from Worship Essentials. Um, so what you would do is, again, Command-I for import. And you navigate back to your patches. And then uh, go to Worship Essentials. And pull in, I can't see what the patch names are. Let's see what that is. There you go. So I just imported a third party patch into, um, into Backstage Pass. Now, same thing. You could go into another template. Say you are using Worship Essentials. Um, same thing applies. You would go into Edit Mode. In Worship Essentials, it's going to look obviously very different, but in your channel strip area or over in your patch list area, um, you would simply, again, uh, Command I, and if you have Worship Essentials, you're going to see, uh, you'll see their library, and then you'll see Backstage Pass. You could bring in one of the pads from Backstage Pass, add it to your uh, Worship Essentials template. Um, that's basically it. Um, there, again, a lot more to come. I'm working on trying to get this manual done. Um, and then, uh, but the, the first update, which is going to be completely free, will include a lot of refinements in this area. It's, it's stuff's going to be more organized. And um, uh, so anyway, I think that communicates what I needed to get across in this video. So, uh, okay, there you go. Um, I hope that helps. And um, keep your thoughts, comments, uh, questions coming. And uh, I really want to make Backstage Pass as good as it can be. And um, can't wait to share with you some of the new stuff that's coming. It's awesome. So, okay, go make great music. Talk to you later.